Hey, how's it going, everyone? So I had someone ask me the other day where I get my images from. Uh, the answer is quite simple, actually. I used to get my images from lots of sources before, but now I primarily use AI, and that's because I usually get what I want from AI. If it's something that I can't develop myself, then I just go uh, search for it, and I should be able to come up with it. It's only as good as the prompt that you give it. Uh, I could only do so much, but it usually gets very close to what I asked for, and sometimes it gives me more than what I asked for. So the first thing you want to do is open up Microsoft Edge if you're on a Windows. And if you're on a Mac, uh, just go ahead and search for Microsoft uh, Copilot, and this should pop up. This symbol is basically everywhere. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use Microsoft Edge uh, since that's what I primarily use. With AI, there are slight differences in the way that images are generated depending on the generator that you use. Microsoft Copilot is absolutely free, guys. Uh, they may have some paid plans that I don't know about, but for me, it allows me to generate the images that I want. Uh, so to not drag this video out, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I get the images and how I also use them in Lightburn. So the first thing you want to do is click this symbol here, which is the symbol for Copilot. If you're on Windows and you opened up Edge. And then you come down here and you type in your prompt that you want. So today, for the sake of this video, uh, let's say I wanted to pull up something random. So let's just go, I don't know, a dog. So I want something that if I put into Lightburn, I have I don't have to do too much work. I just want it to be ready to go the moment I put it into Lightburn. All I do is hit right click and hit trace and I want it ready just like that. I don't want too much work doing processing or anything. So the prompt that I use to get the images that I want, and this is where you have to be very specific with AI is generate an SVG style black and white image of a, did I say dog? Yeah, let's do dog, dog. Go ahead and hit enter. And Copilot's gonna go ahead and start creating that for you. Alright, uh, these look decent. Now if you notice, I didn't specify too much. I just said generate an SVG style, uh, generate an SVG style black and white image of a dog. So let's see what it, what it has given us. Alright, uh, if you look at this, this is definitely an SVG style image. If you pop this in a light burn right now and hit right click and hit trace, this image will trace and you would not even have to make any adjustments to your photo. Uh, let's see the next one. Oh, I like this one. My kids will like this one too. I think I'm going to save that. All right, let's just put it in my downloads folder. Okay, I'm going to save that one. I like that one too. My hard drive's getting kind of full, so I'm just going to keep it to a minimum. And anyways, if you created a Microsoft account, uh, whenever you run these prompts, this saves your history, so you're able to go back and look at them. Uh, before I started this video, I've already grabbed an image, and I've put it in a light burn as an example. But let's dig in a bit further into Copilot just to see what other results we can get. Now, this is very simple stuff. I mean, once you got this line right here, generate an SVG style black and white image, uh, what you would adjust to get something else, uh, just copy that and paste that here. This is where you get more specific. So generate an SVG style black and white image of Let's say an adult cat climbing a 
wall. Let's see what it gives us. Go ahead and hit enter. Now you can run the same prompt wherever you are and you may get a completely different result, but the theme is always general. It would be in this style, black and white, looking like an SVG. Well, it's practically an SVG. You just take it to the librarian and you convert it. Uh, you trace it and you get what you want. But uh, okay, those are nice. Uh, let's take a look at them. So these are more intricate. My God, that is beautiful. But these are more intricate designs. But Lightburn will trace this just in an instant because they are in this format. They are designed this way. It is so easy for it to see uh, that, you know, uh, that's the AI thing right there. Uh, just looks like the cat's digging into the wall. So we're not going to use images like that. Well, at least unless you actually like that type of image. But this one right here is pretty nice. And this one, this is the money shot right here if you're a cat lover this one is right for you uh just let me know if you want it and i will send it to you so you can use it in your project or whatever it is you want to do i'm just going to go ahead and save that right now uh, cat climbing the wall well as far as that portion that's it guys whatever you want you literally come to copilot uh, you see these credits right here uh, every single day you get 15 credits and what happens is those credits are supposed to be depleting every time I search for an image for some reason it doesn't change when I do it on the computer but when I do it on my mobile phone it it changes uh, it drops until those credits run out for the day then your image generation becomes very very slow but before then it generates pretty fast uh, but like I said, if you like any of these images I just pulled up, let me know. This is your bread and butter right here. As far as the, what I, how I get what I want, this is my bread and butter for getting that type of image. I will go generate an SVG style black and white image of, and then I would give AI a very specific details, the very specific details of what I want, and then it goes ahead and you know does this thing. And I pick whatever image I want. Now, don't be surprised if you use Copilot on your phone and it only gives you one image. Uh, they did this update and the layout changed and you only get one image. But if you want four images at once, just go ahead and do it on your computer and it should work. Uh, let's take a look at Lightburn so I can show you that image that I had. So, uh, my son said he wanted a Halloween tree, uh, which is what this design is for. And it's the same thing I did here. I literally just generate an SVG style black and white image of a Halloween tree splitting right down in half and or, or of a spooky Halloween tree with a pumpkin head splitting right down in half. And that popped up and that's how I got that. But what I wanted to show you in Lightburn was how easy it is for Lightburn to actually trace these images because you had AI do them that way. So let me go ahead and delete this. And the cool thing about this is you just click the image, you right click the image and you go to trace image. I just look at it one time. I don't even have to adjust anything. I just hit okay. And then I just click the image again and drag off whatever it is that I traced and bring it here. Now, this blue is my fill layer here, so it's already on a fill layer. If I hit preview, you would barely be able to tell the difference between these two images. Look at that. Lightburn just grabs all those details. So just like that, you have an image that you can use for whatever it is that you want. Just like that. That's it. The person that asked for that image uh, asked me about a Santa Claus image that I use for one of my other videos for the ornaments uh, let me see if I can open that here All right. All right. okay and see that's how I generated all these images right here. 
Uh, I believe this is the image in question, but I'll just show another image just to see. Now look at this. Uh, when I generated this image, it popped up with some other stuff that I didn't want, right? So let's say I just wanted Santa Claus. I would right click the image and I'll go to trace image. And of course I just look at it once, I'm fine. Once this is what I want exactly. So everything else could come in messed up, I don't care. I just hit trace and I drag that over. But I have elements here that I don't want. So I already know that I want the giant Santa, but let's say I wanna keep the bag as well, but I wanna get rid of this guy. That's just simple. You click that trace that Lightburn gave you, right click and you ungroup it. And then you come here and just select what you don't want and hit delete. It's just that simple. Uh, once you're done with that, go ahead and group them back. So select the entire thing and then hit control G to group it back up. And it should be good if I hit preview right now. All right, I've got something poking out. I'm just going to and delete. Well, I want you to see a side by side. So I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit. But let me shrink this. A little so I can have them side by side there we go all right go ahead and hit preview as you can see you cannot tell the difference this saves you so much time because you already told copilot that you wanted an SVG style black and white image and that's exactly what it gives you you come in here you hit trace you have your stuff you're good to go if you decided that okay hey I like this and I want to uh, engrave it and I also want to cut it out it's simple just come here to the outline tool on the left click that and as you can see I do an outward there you go you have that extra lay uh, that outline right there on the outside uh, you can make it as wide as you want hit OK and just uh, make sure you're on your cuts and layers just drop click the line itself just this line on the outside and then you can drop that on a layer by itself and make sure it's a line layer to cut uh, output okay and just like that when you go up here light burn will let's skip that part light burn will engrave that and then from there after it's done it's just going to go ahead and it's going to cut it it's just that simple Oh, that's taking a while. Ah, there we go. But that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.